Good morning. I encourage you to join the choir in the singing. All our songs for today can be found in the church music books. You should have them in the pews. Good morning. Welcome to the St. Bernard Faith Community. God's love and mercy abounds. There are no limits as to how much, when, and in what ways that mercy and love can fill and will fill our lives. It is no wonder that the community of believers found themselves to be of one mind and one heart. This unity of spirit can only be explained by the reception of God's love and mercy in great abundance. It literally changed their hearts and minds. Let us come into the presence of the risen Christ. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. We gather as the body of Christ with Father Perry our mass intentions and prayers today are for the eternal repose of the souls of Nelia J. Dureza. Please stand, turn off all cell phones, and welcome each other to this celebration. Our opening song is Somos el Cuerpo de Cristo, hymn number 664. Somos el cuerpo de Cristo, 
We are the body of Christ. Hemos subido el llamado. Answer yes to the call of the Lord. Somos el cuerpo de Cristo. We are the body of Christ. Traemos su santo mensaje. We come to bring the good news to the world. Dios viene al mundo a través de nosotros, somos el cuerpo de Cristo. God is revealed when we love one another, we are the body of Christ. Al mundo al cumplir la misión de la iglesia, somos el cuerpo de Cristo. Bringing the light of God's mercy to others. We are the body of Christ. Somos el cuerpo de Cristo. We are the body of Christ. Hemos subido el llamado. We've answered yes to the call of the Lord. Oh, somos el cuerpo de Cristo. We are the body of Christ. Santo mensaje, we come to bring the good news to the world. Traemos su santo mensaje, we come to bring the good news to the world. Good morning. Happy Divine Mercy Sunday. You must be very special today, or it's the Sunday, because I think that's the first time I've ever heard you pound away on the cowbell. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> thank you, thank you, that was nice. Well, we have new life coming to the church today, so I ask, what name do you give to your child? And what do you ask of the church today for Beverly? Uh, Beverly, um, parents and godparents, you're asking to have Beverly baptized, and in doing so, you're saying that you're gonna be uh, responsible for showing her who Christ is and helping her come to know Christ and walk with Christ all through her life. Are you ready and willing to accept this responsibility? And this is Big Brother, huh? What's his name? Isaiah. And you're going to help your sister, right? Yeah. And he said, yeah. Well, Beverly, I'm going to mark you with the sign of the cross to welcome you into our church and ask your parents and godparents to do the same. Okay? And Isaiah, too, if he wants. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to. Okay. <laughs> okay, welcome, Beverly. <laughs> And let us begin our celebration with a sign of our faith in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, be with you all. And with your spirit. Thank you. As we begin, let us pause to open our spirit to God's great mercy and love. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive all our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast <clears throat> kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded to them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, our response is, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love is everlasting. Wonderful. 
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to John. On the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed him his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Jesus said to them, Unless, uh, Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? 
Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Before we get into the word, there's a little Easter business we have to take care of. Albert, could you please stand? <laughs> now, can anyone tell me, could you step out in the aisle just for a moment, why he is wearing that robe? Anybody? He was baptized at Easter Vigil. He was one of the two adults. Uh, so again, welcome, Albert. <laughs> Are there any children who are making their first communion this year that are present? I think they all go to the 830. Huh? Oh, yes, you are? All right. And do they have a letter in this basket, too? Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good. Well, could you stand for a moment? These are children who are receiving their first communion in a few weeks. Oh, come on, please stand. It's okay. I won't embarrass you. They're very shy, obviously. Well, they are receiving their First Communion, and they wrote letters to me, and uh, oh, they're in here right now. We added them, I think, huh? And uh, this is what, they, they're addressed to Father Perry, because uh, they're asking or explaining to me why they want to receive their First Communion. And so we're going to keep them in prayer uh, all these weeks up to the reception of the First Eucharist, because that will be a very special day. I dare say none of us who have received it around seven or eight years of age ever forget it. I can tell you what somebody said to me next to me, and that's like uh, 70 years ago, something like that, uh, 68. But we have little Beverly here too. And this is a perfect day to be baptized. Uh, every, she won't remember this, of course, but you can remind her of this, and, um, and this day may become very special to her. This is the only gospel I know that is dealing with two weeks in time, Easter Sunday night and the week after. It's a really rare gospel. Uh, but before I get into the gospel, I want to share with you something that I saw the other day. I've seen it before, but I went and took a picture of it this time. Um, I went over to the hospital to visit uh, one of our prisoners who's going to have brain surgery on Monday. And uh, while I was there, I saw this sign, and it's over here at Dignity Hospital in Glendale, the Seventh-day Adventist, and when you turn on that street um, to go into the lot uh, from Brand, there, that you go in, and on the way out, there's those arms that you have to pay money to get out, but there's a big sign that says, you are entering a hello human kindness zone, a hello human kindness zone. Well, the implication is that when you're not in that zone, you're in a hello unkindness zone. <laughs> really? Is life like that? There's zones where you be kind and then everywhere else you don't be kind? Now I get what the hospital's doing because they have signs like this all through the hospital calling people to kindness. And surely if a person goes to the hospital and they're filled with anxiety because somebody they love is in there dying or very ill or about to have very uh, serious surgery, you know, they can be a little... Um, um, Nasty sometimes, you know, hello, well, it's not a good day, you know, and so um, So they're calling everybody to kindness That that this spot this this hospital the parking lot the street in front that we would be kind to each other I get it. It's nice, but I don't like the implication that there should be places where there is uh, there is non-kindness and and the scriptures today explain to us why and quite frankly, like Beverly is not baptized right now, and her brother Isaiah is, correct? Does God love Isaiah more than Beverly because uh, Isaiah is baptized? No! He loves us all the same. He loves Jews and Muslims and Buddhists and everybody else the same. God can't love this person more than this person, saint or sinner. God is God, and God is love. The reason for baptism, in a sense, has nothing to do with God, but everything to do with us. 
This is like entering into a zone of kindness, but it's not a spot, a, a space in the world. It's here, letting this zone of kindness enter into our hearts because we know Christ. You know, I, I've been a priest for 48 years, so uh, I, I was in love a couple times in high school, but, but it wasn't really love, you know, that puppy stuff. Uh, but um, you know when you fall in love and, and when you really, 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 really love this person and say, and you don't have to be married to, to know this kind of love, to say, this person made me a better man or made me a better woman. Just knowing them, just experiencing them. Well, that's what is expected will happen when we get baptized. Because when we get baptized, we belong to Christ. When we, we open our, our hearts and souls to Christ and to his word, and we decide to walk with Christ every day, and this zone of kindness in us grows and grows deeper and bigger and deeper and bigger because we know the Lord. And we hear that in the first reading today. It tells us that the community of faith were of one mind and one heart. They shared everything in common. Wow. Wow, what an experience for people to enter into a community, into this zone of kindness, and, and love deeply and share deeply. The second reading speaks about this victory in Christ when we know Christ, that, 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 like it's, we were victorious because it's grace of Christ that dwells in us and lives in us and grows in us. But here we come to this gospel, and it's very beautiful. <clears throat> like I said, it, it's, it's a, over a two-week period, two Sundays, and it says, on the first day of the week, the apostles were gathered in the upper room. Now, there weren't 12. It mentions 12, but already Judas has killed himself. He hung himself after he betrayed Jesus. So now there's only 11 apostles. But on that particular day, Easter, Thomas wasn't there. So there were only 10. And <clears throat> we can't give them any special credit because Jesus appeared and he said, peace be with you. And he said, come, feel my hands, feel my wound." He, he immediately let them see that it really was the Christ risen. So they did, and they were overjoyed. So they tell Thomas, and Thomas says, uh-uh, forget you, I don't believe you. I'm translating loosely. Uh, I don't believe you. I didn't see the hands. I didn't see the wound. I'm not going to believe it till I see it. I want to see it with my own eyes. So I guess they gave up. And a week later, Thomas happened to be in the same upper room. And Jesus appears again, peace be with you. And he immediately says, Thomas, come here, come here. Touch my hand. Feel my, my side. Now stop your unbelieving, but believe. It wasn't too tough. He wasn't too tough on him, but, but he called him that. But he said, blessed are those who have not seen, but have believed. Now who are those people? It's us. We didn't see. Was anybody there that night that he appeared? I don't think so, or the week after? Or did we have the blessing of all these appearance stories, Mary in the garden, the two uh, disciples on the road to Emmaus? No. We have not seen, but we have believed, and it's 2,000 years later, and we're still believing. So I dare say that this baptism has power, because if mommy and daddy and God mommy and God daddy uh, talk to Beverly about Jesus and teach her this kind of stuff and all the other stuff, putting her hand in the water and preparing her for communion, that these are the things that, that bring a person closer and closer and closer and closer to Jesus Christ. And when that happens, um, wow, they enter into a zone of kindness within themselves that changes them forever. They can say this, you made me a better man. You made me a better woman. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for the life that you have given. Now, I'm going to need the green book of baptism that's over there on the shelf. And I believe the oils are over there. No, they're not, but they will be. <clears throat> and we can re relax for just a moment, okay? I think he might need some help, so. One medical moment, okay? <clears throat> Noel, Noel, just give me the oils.
Give me the oils. <laughs> the oils are not there. The oil is in the Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> and so, we're going to bless the water first. And uh, that is so that we can hear in the blessing the wonderful powers, the wonderful graces that are given to us in these waters of life and baptism. And so if we could all stand, please. And extend our hands over the font. And our response after each part of the invocation will be, Blessed be God. Father, God of mercy, through these waters of baptism, you have filled us with new life as your very own children. From all who are baptized in water and the Holy Spirit, you have formed one people united in your Son, Jesus Christ. You have set us free and filled our hearts with the spirit of your love, that we may live in your peace. You call those who have been baptized to announce the good news of Jesus Christ to people everywhere. And you call this child, Beverly, to this cleansing water and new birth, that by sharing the faith of your church, she might have eternal life. Bless this water in which she will be baptized. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Now, if Beverly and Mommy, Daddy, Godparents, and Big Brother, if you want, <laughs> and if somebody's taking pictures, this is the best spot. Now, before we actually baptize, we do one last thing, which is to renew our promises of baptism and also to make them for Beverly. Uh, she doesn't know, of course, what's happening, but she'll learn this over time. But we renew the promises that were made for us when we were babies or whatever age in which we were baptized. So I ask you all, brothers and sisters, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject saint and father of sin and prince of darkness? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is, our faith. This is the faith of the church. The of the church. We, are we are proud to profess it. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus. Is it your will that Beverly should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have just professed with you? Yes. If you could come here because I'm right-handed. And, and, uh, <laughs> and just lean her over the waters there. Beverly, I baptize you. In the name of the, <laughs> in the name of, Beverly, you're going to love this, I tell you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Bravo. Now, the water, as I always say, evaporates in minutes. She will be dry. But we're going to put oil on her, this holy oil, blessed by the Archbishop at the Chrism Mass because it penetrates into her skin, into her body, and it's a, it's a rich symbol, just like the oil penetrating into her. What we really pray for is that grace of God, the Holy Spirit of God will penetrate into her and form deep in her spirit this closeness and love for Christ in her life. So let us extend our hands over, Beverly. Beverly, God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, has given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit. God has welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, and as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Now we really welcome you, Beverly, into our faith community. A 
big picture. And this is the certificate of baptism. And now we turn to God and lift up our prayers and petitions before the Lord. That the newly baptized and newly received find in the church both welcome and challenge, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations, rich and poor, work together to share the world's resources fairly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those seeking an increase in faith will grow in certainty that God's divine mercy is abundant beyond human imagination, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who need God's mercy find it in the actions of Christians, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this community strive to be one of heart and of one mind in the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our special intention for today's Mass, for the eternal repose of the souls of Nelia J. Dereza, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we lift all these needs to you. We pray for peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine and the Gaza Strip. We pray for peace everywhere, that we may always be in a zone of kindness with your love. We lift up all these prayers and ask everything in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Our offertory song is Bread of Life, hymn number 562.
pray, my sisters and brothers, our gifts may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all the soul of the church. Accept, O Lord, the oblations of your people and those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. And by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the clergy, all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Nelia J. Doresa. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and martyrs, with Bernard, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us together 
Pray the prayer that Jesus taught us all as we say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Thank you. Let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the bread of life, who has come to take away our sin and bring us life eternal. How blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Our communion song is hymn number 616, the summons. Body of Christ. 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 Will you come? Body of Christ. And follow me. Body of Christ. If I Body of Christ. Body of Christ, will you go where God you don't go? God bless you. And God bless you. Body of Christ, the same. Body of Christ, will you let body my Christ. love be shown? Body of Christ, will you let body of Christ. my name be known? Body of known? Christ, will body of you Christ. Be grown in you and body of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and in our hearts through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcements. There's a food sale going on today by Kairos. I don't know if they're in front of the church or across the street, but the food should be good. We want to congratulate our 50 youth who received the Sacrament of Confirmation by the anointing hands of Cardinal Mahoney. They were overjoyed, I think. Um, any person seven years or older who is not baptized, you could be 107 as far as I'm concerned, if you've not been baptized but want to be baptized, there is a program called the RCIA, the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, in which we prepare you and then baptize and confirm you and give you First Eucharist on the Easter Vigil, the night before Easter, Holy Saturday. So if you are interested, let us know. Starting next week, I'm sure we will have some application forms out there for you so that uh, you can get in touch with us, we'll get in touch with you, and we'll make it happen. Also, we have another fundraiser, and this is at the little restaurant over there. It's a kind of an in-and-out place, but you can eat there, called Mixto, M-I-X-T-O. It's over on Hyperion in the Las Feliz area. Um, and uh, they will give, this is the most of any of the groups yet, 25% of whatever we pay for the food, they'll give it back to the parish. And so uh, if you're there on this Wednesday, between 10 in the morning and 9 at night, and tell them you're from St. Bernard's. Now what you can't, cannot do, they won't give us anything if you get your food by a third party like, uh, what's it, Grub, Grub, Hub, Grub, Grub, Hub, whatever it is, there's... Yeah, there's a couple of them. Uh, they, they're paying them to do the service for us, so they won't uh, give us anything back. But if you go there in person, 25% uh, comes back to us. So you might want to consider that. Ladies, if you're the cookers in the house, hey, take a day off, okay? Go to the mixto, okay? Um, want to just mention again, and the little children here that are here for baptism, uh, and these letters that are representing them as they petition to me, 
to uh, be baptized, I want to ask God's special blessing once again. Lord, we ask your blessing on all of these children represented by these letters that they've written to me to request their First Communion to say why it is they want to receive the Lord. May they be blessed. May this day be never forgotten by them, and may they draw close to you every day of their life, especially when they receive the Holy Eucharist at the Mass. Amen. Amen. And now, uh, if we could, uh, do you have a candle? Receive the light of Christ. Parents and God, parents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. But, of course, the light of Christ is not a candle. It's just a symbol. I shouldn't say just a symbol. It is a symbol. And it also represents for us Christ who lives in us. And, and I'm quite sure Beverly already is touched by the light of Christ in you. Look, she wants that candle. She wants that candle. So the same way she wants that candle, she's got to want the Christ and that's what you do by walking in the light and sharing that light always. So Beverly, once again, welcome. Welcome. You can blow it out, but just don't blow the light of Christ out, okay? <laughs> Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in Christ's peace to walk and to love and serve the Lord always. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our sessional song is hymn number 591, Go Make a Difference. Go make a difference, we can make a difference. The difference in the world. Go make a difference. We can make a difference. Go make a difference in the world. We are the song of the earth. Go to let the people see the love of God in you and me. We are the light of the world that to be hidden. But be seen, go make a difference in the world. Go make a difference, we can make a difference. Go make a difference in the world. Go make a difference, we can make a difference. Go make a difference in the world. We are the hands of Christ, reaching out to those in need. The face of God will call the sea. We are the spirit of hope. We are the voice of peace. Go make a difference in the world. Go make a difference. We can make a difference. Make a difference in the 